persons and as well as the hand war and mascot for blessing me with three wonderful girls well here tonight. And again as a mother there is so much trial as you know, when they are sick they're there. When they're in trouble, they always have to be there. When they go astray, they have to go to God for them to come back in. This is what I believe in. Then we have our pastor and prophet to guide us when they go astray. Right? But being a mother, the struggle is not our own. We always put it in prayer and go to God for answers. As a mother, I'll others call to give them the guidance. but. Then pastors and no take it to prayer. And I see my God work and work miracles in my children's life by healing them and just bringing them back when they are going astray out of God's house. And I just want to give God praise and thanks for just being protective over them because I cannot do it alone. Without Jesus, I cannot do anything without Him tonight. I just want to. On behalf of the ministry, I just want to thank all the mothers that have been holding on to Jesus. Let's keep on holding on. No matter what your situation is with your children, take it to prayer to Jesus and He will work it out. No matter how hard and the struggle, don't give up on, on, on the Lord and the have past and prophet to just give you that guidance. And no matter what, as a mother, you always will love your children. And this is from my experience, no matter what my children do, I love them with all my heart. And this is what God gives us the strength to hold on to Him, to go through whatever trials we have. And I bless each and every one here as a mother. And pray that God will give you the strength and guidance and the love in your heart. Just to love your children the right way and just guide them the right way. I just want to find out something, Lord. Uh, Sister Vera, we just want to find out something, Lord. You know, as, as you've been here in the ministry, Lord of God, we want to know that, you know, Lord of God, we, we know that you had a different experience. Amen? Praise the Lord there. We understand the power of God was real when he used the apostle, when he used the prophet to pray for you on different occasions. But we want to know, Lord of God, on one of the occasions that when you will glorify God, as you as he used the servant of God in one of the, the, the situations where it was where it was no other God, there was no other alternative. Amen. Could you let the people know what the Lord has done for you in the, at that time? This the um this is the best testimony in my life. When I keep done, this is the testimony that gave me the left and to hold on and to believe in the Lord. This is where I got to know the one and true living God Jesus. Which is my last daughter. When I come in this ministry, she was getting the demonic attack. And she was, um, it takes six weeks for she to really be healed. I went to a lot of places, I went not mention where, but I was healed before. So, when I come into this ministry, and I get to know the one and true living God, Jesus Christ, there is where He healed my child with Him. And Prophet Pray was just in three days, she was stopped getting the Molech attack. Come on, put your hands together for the Lord, somebody. Three days, amen? Praise the Lord. And she was, and within a week after, we end up in the clinic with my second daughter. While in the clinic waiting to be attended, this is where the Lord showed himself and proved himself that he is Lord in my life. While so waiting there, I went and she stretched up on my hand and I take her to the where she's standing right and I bring a deaf child here for. And this is when they take her and trying to bring her back alive or what to do all sorts of things. And I remember this red rag. I remember Prophet said to keep it on her. And the tribe will at least almost point her minister hour to bring her back. And when I lay this rag, remember I don't know Jesus, so I said, Heavenly Father, just do your work. The fact that she laid this on her, and I did lay. Come on, you hear what she just said tonight? When I laid this on her, she started to breathe. Come on, you hear what she just I wanted to hear what she just said tonight. She didn't know Jesus as well. Both of us are sitting here and we didn't even know him. Amen? And just by faith, we're going to lay the red rag upon that child. That child was able to breathe again. Amen? Isn't God awesome? Yeah. Come on, isn't God great? great? Yeah. Could you give God some praise tonight? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And when 
that is one thing a week after she broke out with her rash. Our skin was like almost like frog skin. And I go to her, you know, ask to see puppet, the puppet pray for her. And the dirty fellas are trying to come. And when take her to multiple people bring her hair and the fellas to use caramel lotion from her neck to down, but all totally in black soles. Right? And as I say, as today's mother said, really hurt my heart to know this. My son had a good job for oh, yes. And and then Papa come out and pray and he give us some oil to annoy her. And the lady brothers and sisters with my own eyes, within one hour, this child's skin started to heal. Come on. And to this day, she is here. Oh my God. Where's the child? Let's just put the child for one minute. Let us see the child for one minute quickly. Come quickly. She doesn't come quickly. have a single mark on her skin. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, just give it to the child. I said, look for the Lord has done. Come on, through the prophet, amen. Praise the Lord. Come on, you don't know what's going on here this evening. If you know what is going on here this evening, somebody shout, Hallelujah! Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, amen. So we thank God for healing, amen. We thank God for this family, glory to God. He's wonderful, glory to God, as he used the servant of God, amen. Praise the Lord, hallelujah.